Good Wednesday afternoon. We have a weather alert day in effect for tonight through Friday morning. So late tonight through early Friday, we're expecting a winter storm and its impacts to be the greatest. Right now it's around 1235 this afternoon on Wednesday when we're recording this and temperatures still hanging around in the 60s and take a look at the cloud cover overhead. A blanket of low clouds. Eventually we will see those bring some showers, initially light showers with the wind out of the southwest still uh, beating us and bringing us warm warm air in. So it'll be a warm rain and eventually it'll become more widespread heavy rain before switching over to a wintry mix. And that's what this is all about. Our winter storm warning in effect again uh, from the National Weather Service through Thursday night. So for Boone, Boone County, it's about nine o'clock. And I believe for some of the other Kansas City based counties, those are going to be a, a little bit different on their end time. But still overall, this is through Thursday night and we'll keep our weather alert day through Friday morning for the extension of some cold air and really road impacts, which we're pretty concerned with with the effect of snow and the potential for some icing. I think road impacts going to stick uh, around through early Friday as well. Also on the board here for storm threats will be rain and the potential for storms, but this chance for storms is lowest because it stays well off to our south, at least south of mid Missouri. But if you're traveling, could be a concern. Here's a look at flood concerns. We have an aerial flood watch in effect for a good chunk of our viewing area, really the southeastern half from Cole County down towards I-44 Phelps uh, in Pulaski counties as well in this. Uh, and that'll be through again Thursday right around six o'clock at night. So again, some heavy rain expected anywhere between one to two inches is is likely severe threat. As I mentioned, the chance for severe storms storms extends from uh, really our southernmost county off towards the boot heel. That's where uh, we'll really be watching for the chance for some strong to damaging winds, but we won't really have to deal with that locally. We won't see the severe threat here. Our main concern is going to be with this winter storm and the potential for some heavy rain causing some localized flooding. Well, this is a look at radar again as of around 1235 or so again a few light showers starting to pop up. Temperatures still in the 60s. We'll see much more widespread heavy rain later on this afternoon and evening, closer to 6 o'clock, and then into the overnight, we'll pick up some heavy rain along this cold front. Cold air filters in behind. It'll start to change us over to a wintry mix, and we'll likely start to see that start to stick as we get towards your midday Thursday morning and then into Thursday afternoon when we're adding more snow to this. And it really does look like it's going to be the northern edge of our viewing area that sees the best chance of that snow. But as I mentioned, we will see that change over to ice area for the most part area wide. We'll start to really see the potential for a, a light glazing to maybe even up towards a quarter of an inch across the heart of mid Missouri. But as we head in towards Thursday, again, Thursday, really our best chance for snow accumulation is going to be that northern edge, that northwestern edge of our viewing area. And as you head in towards uh, the southernmost edge of our viewing area, we may see as little as a trace. So that's what we're tracking as we head into Thursday. That's what we're expecting in terms of snow totals. Again, as we get closer, confidence is increasing, but that could change as we get closer towards Thursday. So keep an eye on the forecast. We'll have to see if totals jump around much from there. But Thursday is going to be really the travel impact day, especially Thursday afternoon and evening and heading into Friday. We'll likely see that stick around, but we're back above freezing by Friday afternoon and that carries us into the 60s on Sunday.